In this series of videos, we're going to be working with CSS and styling HTML tables. Let's take a quick look at what we're going to be accomplishing in these videos. This is the basic layout of our finished product. We're going to have a invoice with a sold to and shipped to. We're going to have a summary area and we're going to have our HTML tables that we will alternately change colors with, change our subtotal, tax, shipping, and total area, and the way they are displayed. We'll be working with numbers and having them um, aligned to the right of each column. Kind of a simple, short, fun project for you to take a look at. The beginning code that we are going to be working with is provided for you within the uh, Canvas Classroom. So let's take a look and just review what it is really quickly. The basic HTML, we're going to be initially working with three divisions, our sold to, our shipping address, and our invoice summary. Then we've laid out a basic HTML table that allows us to look at the different quantities, items, descriptions, price per unit, item total. Use some quick Lauren Ipsen again just to put in descriptions quickly. Made up some fake prices, everything. Come down to the bottom and created a series of subtotal, total, tax, shipping, all of that to be aligned within that. Going to quickly scroll up so that you can see that within this we've blocked out the classes and identification areas that we're going to be working with within our style. So that's where we're at and let's look at the raw code as it is when we run it and you'll see it doesn't look pretty. We do have our table layout but again it's not readable, it's not easy to look at so we're going to be doing all this style. Let's start working on the style. We're going to start with working with our body. We're going to give it a margin of 25 pixels all the way around so none of the content is bumped all the way against the edges of our web page. So we're going to give a margin of 25 pixels. And just to be sure, I'm going to give it a background color of white. And I'm going to use the shortcut for white of FFF. And that should give us our our padding, our, excuse me, our margin and our color. So let's go down and start working on the sole to area. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it different margins on three of the sides so we can no longer use the shortcut. And I'm going to go margin of 25 pixels to the top, 0 pixels to the right, 25 pixels to the bottom, and 25 pixels to the left side. Going to give it padding within the sole to division of 25 pixels all the way around so our content will not be blocked up right against the border that we're going to create, which is next. Our border will be solid, black, and thin. You notice that it is in a different order than what I normally would put it. I always say thin, black, solid. Just wanted to let you know that you can put those in any order and it will be recognized. So we're going to display this as a block item and we're going to float it to the left. Okay, Our sole tool we're going to work with our, our heading 3 element. We're going to give it no margin. This will keep it from um, looking separate from our other content within our, that division. So margin is 0 and that should take care of our sold to area. So I'm going to now work on the shipping address which we are going to give it a margin of 25 pixels to the top, 0 pixels to the right, 25 pixels to the bottom, and 25 pixels to the left. This is going to make it echo or look just like the sold to but it'll be in a different long different area of our web page. We're going to give it also the same padding of 25 pixels. We're going to make the border again and this time I'll put it in this way thin, black, solid. You put those in any order. 
we're going to display this block as well and we are going to instead of floating it to the right or left we're going to float it to the right this time if you looked at my earlier um, videos on doing layouts two and three columns I always float the last column or the last area that I want to be on the right side to whoops I put left to the right and that way you're assured that it's going to be the last one over there okay again we're going to do a margin here so I'm going to just quickly copy this and paste it here Okay. The last thing that we're going to work on in this video is our invoice summary. Our invoice summary, we're going to also give it a we're going to give it a value for clear so that it is down below our shipping address and our ship to, our sold to area, clear of both. That'll put on the next available area. We're going to give it a width. of 300 pixels. We're going to give it the same margins that we had above. So instead of typing it out again, I'm going to just do a quick copy. That'll give it a similar look to our sold to in our shipping area. We're going to give it the same padding of 25 pixels. Copy and paste is your friend. As you're learning though, I would say go ahead and um, put, um, type things out. Textual typing really does help you learn a little bit better. And then I'm going to do a border and solid black and thin. And one thing I forgot to do on each one of these is give them a background color so that those areas were different. So I'm going to go back up here to our sold to area and I'm going to do background color of hash mark E0, E0, D1. That's a light tan color that I like use, using on a lot of different things. And I'm just going to copy that and paste it down here so that we have that. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like when we run it. And we've now separated our sold to, ship to, and our summary area. I noticed that I didn't do the H3. Good example of when you miss something. You notice that these are right next to it. This one has the space, so let's go ahead and add that margin here. Go back and reload and it moved it up. So that's the end of this video. Very quick one. Thank you very much for watching. Continue watching and the next thing that we're going to be working on is our table heading area, our TH columns. Thank you very much.